called Limelight, Howl Bahashom, Yahu Shah Bahashom, Kakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well with the whole flake. Sincere Shalom to the whole flake, the house of David, one third that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. That's hoping in salvation, all right, through the will and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, pushing the truth with all truth and sincerity, tuning into the truth with all truth and sincerity. Now, things are escalating on a worldwide stage, and that final, that final moment that all this is going to lead to is uh, America being destroyed by thermal nuclear weaponry, and Russia will be that main nation to um, bring about that that great judgment. Okay, and I'm going to hop straight into it, 2nd Ezra 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. And that's ultimately talking about the Heavenly Father putting the Spirit on these nations, starting with Russia. To uh, let let it let it let it fly, man. These nukes, let them fly. Two hundred million nukes gonna fly and rain rain down upon this place that we know as the United States of America, and it's gonna be completely, utterly decimated from off the face of the earth for the the wickedness done in this land, in particular to the children of Israel, man. And you know you got people saying that nukes, you got you got Jake's out here specifically saying nukes are fake, man. You got to be an idiot to think um, nukes are fake. Okay, that that's that's uh that's um, I guess you can go with irrational. Let's go to Joel two and one. Blow ye the trump in the Zion. All right, the children of Israel. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of Yahweh cometh. For it is nigh at hand. And that's. That main judgment. That's going to come upon this earth. One of the one of the main judgments. I should say. Is uh these nukes man. These nukes. Is going to be that, that last little send off. For Babylon the great. And these Edomites. Okay. It's going to be their, their send off. And there's no, there's no getting around this prophecy. And Russia will be the spearhead of it all, man. The spearhead of all, of all this evil that's going to come to the Babylon the Great. Which is just indignation, alright? In the eyes of these people, they think it's evil. But it's the indignation of the Heavenly Father. Now, this is Romans 10 and verse... Um, and verse Verse 17, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. So in order to understand what I'm saying, the Heavenly Father has to put the kakwadash on you, man, to have the faith and to hear. Verse 18, but I say, have they not heard? Yeah, verily their sound went into all the earth, and their words into the ends of the world. What is that? It's going to the internet, man. It's going to the internet. Um... Bringing out this truth through YouTube, Odyssey, all right, phone calls, whatever. You see all this, this, this high level communication where you can talk to somebody in a few, a matter of seconds in Tokyo and you're in Turkey is because of the Heavenly Father. That's all from the Heavenly Father specifically to bring out the truth, man. That's all it, that's all it was for is not to send memes, is not to talk to your, to your grandma Okay, it's for the word, the heavenly father's word. That's all that that's all that it was made for. And you people out here, that's not uh, specifically Jake, right? You heathens, you already marked But Jake, the Jakes that uh that are um not following under the heavenly father's command on the right hand is going to feel that hurt. And they're also going to feel this right here, Ezekiel 33 in uh 33 and when this cometh to pass lo it will come then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them so when they you know all these things that's happening 
and you know some Jakes is catching on. You know they see see the economy, they see the war coming in, but when when things really really heat up, man, like people drop, it's a lot of bodies dropping. It's a lot of a lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot of turmoil, a lot of sorrow. A lot of Jakes are gonna realize that that the Israelites had the truth. Okay, specifically starting with Great Millstone on down. Because a lot of these other camps out here are bugged out, man. A lot of agents in there. Um, let's go to Ezekiel 38. And verse 4. And I will, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor. Even a great company with bucklers and shields, and all of them handled with swords. And that's talking about Russia, all right, and the rest of these nations under Russia when they come to um, invade America in the land of Israel, man. And they're gonna pillage and plunder, and they're not gonna they're not gonna uh, fail, so to speak, at doing what the Heavenly Father wants them to do. They're gonna succeed at pillaging and plundering the land of Israel and Babylon the Great. All right, that doesn't mean they're gonna win. Because the people that's going to win is the children of Israel. Starting with the elect. Let's go to um, Jeremiah uh, 50, 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon. Round about all ye that bend the bow. Shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she hath sinned against Yahweh. So all these nations... That have uh, these nuclear weapons are gonna uh, blitz America with them. Okay, every last one of them is gonna pl pl plaster this this country with nukes. And the Heavenly Father is gonna is gonna have a spirit in them nukes, man, so they don't miss. Uh, this is verse twenty nine. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. And guess what? That's happening now. You got. Iran moving their nuclear warships in the Central and South America. And uh, I think is I don't want to misquote it, but it's in Second Ezra's, man, where it talks about Iran coming with that great star, which is the nukes, man. They call it the Carmenians, all right? They're going to come with those uh, nukes to, to, to demolish this place. And you got Russia with their nuclear submarines and nuclear-powered uh ice breakers it's like a type of boat where it can just smoothly slice through ice I'm pretty sure they got nukes on those they got these nukes in these submarines and they're they're surrounding this place literally let none thereof escape recompense her according to her work according to all that she hath done do unto her for she hath been proud against Yahweh against the holy one of israel man. and that started that pride against the Heavenly Father started when they came over here and uh, slaughtered the uh, Northern Kingdom and brought uh, the Southern Kingdom here, over here in these uh, slave ships, man. And that pride is going to be brought low. It's being brought low right now. It's being um, brought low right now. So that's that. I wanted to make this lesson short, straight to the point. Um, you can check out Canadian Prepper's channel. He has a lot of uh, good information. Uh, it's not on the M S M. What was it? What was edifying? Shalom.